One minute. Shortly after liftoff, Mission Control Houston will take control of the rocket, and my colleague, Leah Cheshire, will take over commentary. T minus 50 seconds and counting. Coming up at T minus 33 seconds, the GLS will hand off control to the ALS. This is the autonomous launch sequencer on board the rocket. It will take over command and control of the rocket. But the ALS will check, make sure there's no holds coming from the ground up until T minus two GLS, seconds. go for ALS. And we are go for ALS. The Space Launch System is now counting down to lift off of Orion on its maiden voyage to the moon. Launch team can no longer recycle the count. No reason for it. Sound suppression water now flowing under the ML. And here we go. Hydrogen burnoff igniters initiated. Seven, six, five, four stage engines start. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition and lift off of Artemis 1. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. boosters have separated these 177 foot boosters now the core stage continues to power the flight of Orion all four RS-25 engines firing traveling over 3,400 miles per hour 46 miles downrange two minutes and 36 seconds into the flight hearing nominal calls here in Mission Control Houston We've still got four good engines on the core stage. Next up, we'll be looking for the service module fairing to separate. This is three 15 by 15 foot fairing panels, providing structural support, protecting the service module. Those will separate at about three minutes and 11 seconds into flight, and very shortly thereafter will be followed by the launch abort system separation. Just over three minutes into the flight of Artemis One, now traveling over 4,060 miles per hour, 83 miles downrange. We just had conversation. 